Welcome to my lecture online. Many of us have heard on the news about oceans rising due to the melting of the glaciers around the world, but what's happening today is probably very minuscule compared to what's happened in the past. Far fewer of us know that 18,000 years ago, ocean levels were about 400 feet lower than they are today. That's about 120 meters. That's enormous. And so when we look at the map, the world map, you can see that the regions in red here, those used to be above the ocean level. You can see that Indonesia was essentially part of the Asian continent. It wasn't separated by any seas or oceans. India was a lot bigger. Australia was a lot bigger. Notice that the Gulf here between Iran and Saudi Arabia, well, there was no ocean there at all. And you can see that England was part of the continent and all kinds of places around the world, like Japan was probably attached to Asia. There's no longer, there was a land bridge to the Japan. So you can see that it wasn't that long ago that the earth looked very different and ocean levels were far lower than they are today. And that's of course, the reason for that was the ice age that had produced these enormous ice sheets so that much of the ocean water ended up in ice sheets on top of the continents. But then about 18,000 years ago, the weather turned different, the, the, the climate began to become a lot warmer, temperatures rose by about 16 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 9 degrees centigrade, and all those massive glaciers around the world began to melt. And as they melted, the ocean levels began to rise. And for about 100 centuries, for about 10,000 years, ocean levels rose by about 4 feet per century, which is over a meter per century for 100 centuries, and thus bringing the ocean levels pretty close to where they are today. Today, the ocean levels rise. Yes, they do. It's estimated that they rise about four, maybe six inches per century around the world. It's hard to know that for sure because uh, land rises and falls. So we can see that, for example, in the Los Angeles Harbor here in California, the oceans have risen about three and a half inches over the last century, which is just shy of 10 centimeters. So compared to what's happening today, Back then, for a hundred centuries straight, ocean levels were rising at a rate of four feet per century. So 400 feet of ocean rise in just 10,000 years. And that was all due to natural causes. That was the end of the ice age that then resulted in the more temperate climate that we're enjoying today. Wow, so a lot of people don't realize it. Here we have some graphs. Notice that here's a picture of the enormous ice sheet on top of North America, about 3 million square miles of ice. And then here's a curve representing this enormous rise where it was down about 400 feet lower than today to the current levels, all in about a 10,000 year period. Here's a graph of the, the sea level at the Los Angeles Harbor. And you can see, I don't know if you can read that, those are small letters, where it indicated that if you draw a straight line through the ocean levels over the years, it was a rise of about three and a half inches for the past century. So whatever is happening today is just minuscule compared to the amazing events that happened kind of in our recent past. This goes back to about 18,000 to about 8,000 years ago, we had these enormous ocean rises. What was also interesting was that the Black Sea here was a lot smaller back then. There was no connection between the Mediterranean and the Black Sea. And then about seven or 8,000 years ago, when, the, when the, the level of the Mediterranean rose sufficiently, the water began to break through and started inundating the lands around the Black Sea. And about 40,000 square miles of land got inundated by the ocean as the ocean get, uh, went into the Black Sea and started rising the water levels there. So some enormous events happened all over the world when this end of that last ice age occurred and the oceans rose to their current levels today.